Lee and Lee PCQ18. It's a mini tower case for mini ITX and mini DTX motherboards. The entire case is aluminum. The outside has a brushed aluminum feel. It looks really professional. There's no plastic going on here. It's just a really nice clean case. The dimensions are 411 millimeters by 271 millimeters by 323 millimeters. All right, included with the case are all the screws you're going to need. We have a couple tie downs, a PC speaker hookup for your motherboard. Uh, we also have several rubber grommets or rubber spacers that are for your hard drives and also for your fan mounts. And we do have two 140 millimeter fans and those also are mounted using rubber grommets. The fans come with a 3 pin to 4 pin Molex adapter and that's attached to the cable when you first open it up. Starting off at the front of the case we have a 5 and a quarter bay there. You can mount a CD-ROM drive in there or you can just not use it. Starting at the top here you'll see the power button. Uh, this is a multi-LED power button. Beneath that we have two USB 2.0 ports and inside we have an adapter for USB 3 to USB 2 for your motherboard and beneath that we have a headphone and a microphone jack. We have a honeycomb grill and the 140 millimeter fan behind that. Now, the airflow in this case is designed to enter in the front and blow through across your hard drives and then out the top. Uh, there's also a spot on the bottom where you can optionally mount another 140 millimeter fan and there's a dust cover on the bottom and rubber feet. The dust cover is removable so you can take it off and wash it if you like. I really like how the side panels come off on this unit. It's friction based. Uh, they're just some pegs that go into some holes. You pop them out. It's very sturdy. Uh, you have to give it a little bit of pressure to put the case back together or to pull it apart. Once you get the side panel off, you'll see that we have several hard drive bays here. Now these are hot swap bays and there's a PCB uh, that supports four three and a half inch drives. You can also put some two and a half inch drives in here. It'll support a couple of those. It's very easy to install a hard drive. All you do is um, Put the rubber spacers, the rubber grommets on the hard drive, slide it in just like a drawer. It uh, connects with the PCB in the back and then we essentially lock them in their cage. There's a little slider that slides up and down to lock all the hard drives in place. So once you get all your hard drives installed, you lock them in place. And on the bottom we have another rack and this is fully removable. Uh, but if you're going to leave the rack in, you can fit a couple uh, two and a half inch drives. You can even fit another um, three and a half inch drive there. If you're going to be using a double slot GPU for gaming, you're not going to be able to use a three and a half inch drive there, only two and a half inch drives on the bottom. If I were you, I'd probably take that out and put the fan on the bottom to give me a little bit more airflow going on in here. Right in front of the hard drive cage, you see there we have the fan. It is mounted with the rubber grommets and it's very easy to remove. The entire hard drive cage is not by design removable. The entire hard drive cage is not by design removable, but there are screws, so you can take it off if you want to. The power supply mounts just behind the hard drive cage and right on top of where your motherboard is going to go. That's really going to limit the height of the CPU cooler that you're going to be able to use. The maximum clearance is 80 millimeters. If you install something that's like 80 millimeters, it's going to be right on top of your PSU, and that's not what you want. The clearance for your power supply is 160 millimeters, and your graphics card clearance is 340 millimeters. I really like all the rubber, the way everything mounts. The, the rubber's anti-vibration, and that's a big deal, especially if you're going to be running a file server, and you've got lots of hard drives in here. It keeps things quiet, and it makes them last longer. Let's pull off the back panel and look at uh, what's going on on this side. Okay, behind the motherboard tray, um, there's a lot of things going on here. You can see we have connectors for the front panel there. And here you see the PCB uh, with all your SATA ports and um, also you have Molex connectors and you also have the standard SATA power connectors there. The motherboard tray is removable. You just remove four screws and then it slides out. You can build everything on that. Uh, even if you wanted to build it and keep the motherboard tray installed, there's a large cutout hole there so it's easy to install aftermarket cooling units or water cooling. It wouldn't be any problem at all. The airflow is decent, but there are a lot of things in the way because it is a small case. You're trading size for a bit of airflow and also the ability to mount uh, large you know, CPU coolers like you can do with the Prodigy. You're not going to get that with this, but you're going to have a smaller case. So it's a trade-off there, and, and some of the features like the hot swap drive bays make this a bit different. I also want to note that this brushed aluminum is really high quality. It feels really nice to the touch. It's extremely smooth. It does show fingerprints, so keep that in mind if you want to put this on the coffee table and show your friends and they touch it, there's gonna be fingerprints. I highly recommend this Lee & Lee PCQ18 for file servers or ITX gaming systems. You'll have a lot of fun with it. It's top quality.